Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of Rudy's Rant. Robert, come on now, the podcast where we talk facts over feelings. I am your host, Rudy Rodriguez Shoma, and I got a rant for you today, man. Legendary. That's it, bro. Generational? Eh, that's the thing of the past. She's legendary. You know who I'm talking about. But before we jump in, thank you so much for your continued support of this channel. I greatly appreciate you. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Pound that like button. Hit the follow button. Hit share the video. Hit the bell. Become a member as we're popping off our live member only live member only podcast every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time starting next Tuesday. So be sure to jump on with me. I greatly appreciate y'all. But you know who I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one and only Caitlin Clark. Called her generational. Thought that was good enough. Nah, it ain't. Pardon, pardon my grammar. It's not. I had someone play Grammar Police on me on the other channel with my graphic where I said they not like her because of the Kendrick Lamar song and clearly did not understand the attachment to that song of they not like us i understand grammar i have a degree in journalism i took a lot of grammar tests to graduate from college um we couldn't get our degree without you know taking these grammar tests so yeah thank you for your english lesson sir uh i i'm good i'm good but if you actually know what's going on in today's world i know you look like you're about 80 no disrespect But before you criticize somebody, you should actually take the time to know what you're criticizing about. That's all I ask. Be knowledgeable of what you're going to critique me on because I know it's there, not like her, not they. I understand. Trust me on that. But let's talk about it here. Caitlin Clark, generational to the WNBA. Legendary to the rest of the world. I want to play you something real fast. This is how legends are made. This is how legends are made. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This is how legends are made. You want to know how legends are made? Legends are made when you show up to a golf course playing with a plus 16 handicap. And more people showing up than would ever show up for a golf tournament. That's what Caitlin Clark did at the Annika. Storenstam Poem. She showed up and she brought a whole lot of people with her. The report is that they sold 12 times as many tickets as they usually do to this event. This woman is a basketball player playing golf because she's bored. She likes golf. Cool. There's lots of people who like golf. But there's only one Caitlin Clark. She shows up at a golf tournament and and there's people lined up to see her at 7 o'clock in the morning. Funny, she damn near took someone's head off with, with an errant uh, tee shot. That was cute. You might want to back up a little bit as she's not a professional golfer. Rather than being way, the way typically are real close, you might want to back up about, I don't know, 10, 20, 50 feet. But Kaylin Clark draws a crowd wherever she goes. It's incredible. There's no one that does that. Not today. Not in women's sports if simone biles showed up the same exact event you think there'd be a crowd like this no she carrie richardson no 
Look at other WNBA players. Angel Reese, no. Asia Wilson, no. Sabrina, no. Brianna, no. Nafisa, no. Caitlin Clark could show up at a checkers tournament and there will be 5,000 people there to watch her play checkers. That's how crazy this is. It's, in, it's insane. It's insane. Yeah, I know they have these uh, special golf things where Steph Curry and, and, and Clay Thompson have played and, and Patrick Mahomes and all that stuff. But this that's marketed as some special charitable nonsense, right? Not, no nonsense, but not a professional golf event. This is a pro-am. She's playing in a pro-am. Now, I don't know if her scores count. I don't even care. The fact that she shows up and a women's event increases its attendance by 12 times. So I don't know what the initial attendance would be on an, annu on a, on an annual basis. I have no idea. <clears throat> I have no clue. But if 100 people typically show up and they got 1,200 people there because of her, that's insane. If a thousand people and they got twelve thousand people now because of her, you, you got. I mean, this is nuts. This is crazy. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. Or as we just said. This is how legends are made. Caitlin Clark is special. Folks, you, if you don't know by now, Caitlin Clark is next level special. I, I've, I've never seen <clears throat> in my lifetime, because I gotta, I gotta, you gotta understand that Michael Jordan came in the, the NBA when I was seven, right? I did see a majority of his career. <laughs> But I'm not going to sit here and tell you that I remember him playing in 1984. You know, I'm not going to sit here and lie about that and say, I remember him in 1984. Yeah, I've seen videos. I remember probably, like, I remember the 63-point game. I watched that game as a kid. And yeah, I was eight years old, nine years old, whatever it was. I remember that game. Yeah, you, you don't forget that. But, like, the dunk here or a dunk there or or whatever. Yeah, no, I don't remember that. I remember, the, of course, the dunk contest. I but I grew up watching Michael Jordan. I didn't, I didn't, but I, I'm not going to sit here and say I remember the draft day because remember, all none of this stuff was televised. Remember, we only had a cable box that had like 35 channels. For those of y'all who are, are my age and older, cable box was 35, 40 channels. And it, 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 it was only, there was like one or two sports channels. They didn't have every game on television. You learned about the game the next day in the newspaper. We live in a different world now where you can go watch every single game you want on NBA TV or NBA League Pass, or WNBA League Pass or whatever, MLB Network package. You can see everything. Like this stuff, like, thank God they didn't have MLB package when I was a kid. Because when I was a kid, if they had MLB package, and, remember, and understand that as an adult, I watch every Yankees game pretty much. I watch pretty much every, I mean, if I miss a few here and there out of 162. Like I probably watch 150 of the 162. And of the, you know, and, and I I mean, so I'm I watch. If I was a kid, I would never go to sleep. Which is a problem for me as well. As I don't go to, I don't go to sleep as an adult because there's so much TV available and the consumption of television now is crazy. If you remember back in the day, at one o'clock or two o'clock in the morning, um, the TV would turn gray with snow because there was nothing else to put on television. They had no programming. Now you're watching programming 24-7 and then you got Netflix and Amazon Prime and, and, and Apple, Apple TV and Hulu and all, all the other stuff. YouTube, etc. But I've never seen the impact of an athlete the way we've seen of Caitlin Clark in, in, in the first six months of her professional career. LeBron James didn't have this type of coverage his first six months. He didn't have this kind of impact. 
He didn't change a sport. Kobe didn't change a sport. Shaq didn't change a sport. Caitlin Clark has changed a sport, and it's carried over in, into sports. She doesn't even play. She showed up. She had fun. She's not some ace golfer, 16 handicap. I mean, she's shooting what, uh, an, uh, an 86, a 90? 84, something like that, <clears throat> which on a pro course is actually pretty damn good for someone who is not a professional golfer, because those of you who don't golf, and I don't golf, but I've talked to golfers, and I know that the golf course you play on at your local country club is not the golf course they play on in professional golfing. The golf course you play in your country club, the ball slows down. The greens are not fast. On a pro golf course, they shave those greens down to edges where basically the ball bounces like a like a basketball on a basketball court and skips. The greens are hella fast. And they're much harder than what you're playing on when you go play golf, go play golf at your local country club or local golf course. This woman's bringing thousands, thousands of people to watch her play golf. That's legendary. Cut the shit now. Like, like you, you got to acknowledge what this is. And then you wonder why the unrivaled league needs her so badly. How they're begging her to come play. Because they know that without her, no one's going to watch. Not to what they would watch if she was there. I'm telling you right now. Will I probably watch the first time it happens? Yeah, sure. Will I probably watch the first time Angel Reese goes out there to see how she looks? Yeah, sure. But will I watch it every, from what I've seen now, the schedule is every Friday, Saturday, and Sunday? Hell no. Not a chance. Like, I'm looking at it right now. Friday, back-to-back -back games at 7 and 8.15, and Saturday, 2 and 3.15. Monday, I'm sorry, so Friday, Saturday, and Monday, sorry, not Sunday, 8 and 9, 15 p.m. Am I going to sacrifice three nights a week or three days a week to watch that shit? No. Not if Caitlin Clark's not playing. Only time they don't do Friday, Saturday, Monday is, I think, when it crosses over with the NBA All-Star game. Um, That's what it looks like from here on the, looking at their schedule, but... Yeah, this is uh, she's legendary, man. Forget generational. This woman is legendary. This woman is doing things that's never that have never been done before, never been done before, never. Nobody. Michael Jordan transcends all sports. He has the most popular shoe company in the world. Air, Jordan brand is more popular than Nike. I don't give a damn what anyone says. I don't give a damn what anyone says. The most popular sneaker in the world is a Jordan. And I'm not using metrics or stats. I have not, I have no flipping idea. I'm telling you, the most popular sneaker in the world is, is an Air Jordan. The Air, in, in fact, I don't know which one it would be. I'm guessing it's probably the Jordan 11s um, or the Jordan 4s. <clears throat> Those are the two, in my mind, that would be the most popular Jordan shoe ever. I mean, there's an there's an entire market just for Jordans. Like when you go on GOAT or, or StockX or one of these sites that sell sneakers in, in, on the secondary market, you're not looking for Reebok. You're not looking for Adidas. You're not looking for Puma. You're not spending. You're not. I mean, people who are sneakerheads are not spending 300% over, over market for New Balance. Although they're trying to sell them for that now. I've seen it. It's ridiculous. And I would never in my life spend double the price of a regular New Balance. That's crazy. But people will spend $1,000 for some J's or $2,000 for some J's. They will. They have. They're for sale. Jordan transcends all sports. This most popular sneaker brand in the world. Nike. Yeah, I know Nike. No, Jordan is what. 
let's be real. Jordan made Jordan made Nike, not the other way around. Nike did not make Jordan because Jordan could have signed anywhere. Whatever sneaker company that Michael Jordan went to would have been the biggest sneaker brand on the planet. He did that. His mom did that. Thankfully, the Nike people, Phil Knight, made a decision to give him what he wanted, give him what his give his mom what she wanted. Because if they hadn't, they were they would have lost him to another deal. So someone would have. Someone would have. But <clears throat> beyond him. We never saw Michael Jordan playing golf. Like he played golf, but we never, you didn't know when he was at the golf course. You didn't know when he was at the golf course. It wasn't on television. It wasn't like you didn't have thousands of fans showing up for that. Now appearances, absolutely. Man. I mean, Michael Jordan shows up at the local Burger King. You're going to have a, th a thousand people there. But again, this is a different time, social media, et cetera. Caitlin Clark is the mo is is legendary. She is the most popular. I don't give a shit with anyone. I don't care about marketability. I don't know. I don't care about that marketability report. Caitlin Clark is the most popular athlete in the world. In the world, not in this country. In the world. And someone, you want to debate me on it? Debate me on it. She's more popular than popular than Ronaldo, Messi. Her popularity is through the roof. Yes, Messi makes metrics work. He changed the pricing structure of the Inter Miami team for for in the MLS. He didn't change the structure in the entire league, though. Caitlin Clark has changed a league. She's changed an industry. She's changed it all, and now she shows up to a golf tournament as a below average golfer. And has 12 times the normal ticket sales. Do you realize how crazy that is? It's insane. It's insane. It's absolutely freaking insane. This is how legends are made. It's insane. That's it. She's made her. She's a legend. And I'm looking forward to seeing what she does next. I'm look. I want to see if she shows up at some Grand Prix race, some NASCAR race. I'm waiting to see it. They'll always have people there, but I want to see her like her presence at these events. It's crazy. It's at, it's it's <clears throat> it's freaking bananas. It's bananas. It's crazy. It's not. I, I would. I would love to see her show up at a Miami Marlins game and see how many people show up to that Marlins game. I'd be there. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to fly to Indiana for a game. If not Indiana, I'm going to fly to Atlanta for a game. I'm going somewhere to watch her play next year. I don't give a shit. Next season, I will watch her play. So, and obviously, if she comes down here and decides to play in the Unrivaled League, which I hope she doesn't, I'll be there to watch her play. Because this is an absolutely insane moment in time where a basketball player goes to a golf tournament and is the reason that 12 times the amount of people show up is because of her. What are your thoughts on this? I'd love to hear your opinions on this. Caitlin Clark, is she legendary in your opinion? She is in mine. She's exceeded generational. She is now a legend. Unreal. Leave your thoughts in the comments. Be sure to like, subscribe, and follow. Pound that like button. Share this video. Become a member. Members live start on Tuesday at 9 p.m. Hope to see you there. Facts over feelings. Come on now.